Thank you for learning Siebel with the Siebel Hub. We have a unique, comprehensive and always up-to-date collection of Siebel CRM 2021 training classes. We can deliver live online and on-site training in the highest quality with the most experienced instructors. And we also offer a unique modular Siebel CRM 20 and 21 training. Follow the links in the description or on this slide to learn more and learn Siebel with the Siebel Hub. Hello and welcome to this uh, Siebel CRM update 21.1 highlights overview. My name is Alexander Hansheil and I'm happy that you can join us for this review of highlights in 21.1. Uh, 21.1 was delivered on 21st of January 2021. That's a lot of 21s for us here. And it has two major features that have been announced in the release notes and on the Oracle blog. First is the uh, Siebel help desk related views, such as in ERM or call center, they have been converted to Siebel Open UI. So help desk functionality is officially back in Siebel. And the other feature that catches our attention here is the support for Oracle Autonomous Database. 19c. Also, when we skim through the release notes, we find a new parameter on the server and component level config LDAP failover timeout, which has been introduced to avoid long timeouts when you have multiple LDAP servers. So let's take a look at the help desk functionality that made a comeback in 21.1. So help desk is a set of views or a screen uh, but also views related to service requests, handling, etc. These screens and views can be found in many applications, including Siebel Call Center, and they have not been ready for OpenUI for a long time. So Oracle has re-enabled them for OpenUI and added a bit of manifest data for the applets and the views. And also in Siebel Bookshelf, we can now find again the help desk guide. So Siebel help desk makes a comeback in 21.1. Uh, the support for the Oracle Autonomous Database has been announced for quite a while and moved along through various updates. And now finally in 21.1, uh, Oracle officially announces support for Siebel CRM applications to be run on the Oracle Autonomous Database Transaction Processing, aka ATP on dedicated exadata infrastructure. So that's the full product name. And so it's supported on these databases if you run them on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, OCI, or uh, using the Oracle Cloud at customer. But as we see from the description, uh, dedicated exadata infrastructure is also a necessity. Uh, there is a white paper that is published on Oracle support. So you see the number below. In case you have not wrapped your head around Oracle Autonomous Database, it's a feature that has been announced quite a while ago and supports various enhancements as to self-driving, self-securing and self-repairing, uh, all of which could benefit, of course, Siebel customers if they have very high workloads or challenging uh, data volumes and in general want to use uh, ATP. So the white paper describes not just uh, the autonomous database and ATP, but also describes how to set up Siebel on an ATP instance on dedicated exadata infrastructure on Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Uh, if you want to get started with uh, the Oracle ATP on dedicated exadata infrastructure, you can find a guide in the Oracle Help Center and also follow on to Oracle support to get that white paper to get you started. So that's a wrap on the uh, Siebel CRM update 21.1. Thank you very much for listening in and bye-bye.